High school football in the valley is back. Cover 4 begins now. Hey there, thanks for joining us for another edition of Cover 4 on CBS4. I'm Ruben Juarez alongside my partner, Blake Holland. And let's dive right in to our game of the week. Row on the road taking on PSJ North, the Warriors and Raiders both at 3-0. And, oh, and district play entering tonight's a contest. Both teams also love to put points on the board. Row putting up 41 last week. North, 35. So let's hop right into the highlights, Ruben. So for Texas we go, like we mentioned, both teams 3-0 district play. Raiders with a business-like mentality tonight. No messing around early on. Rose QB trying to look for someone. No dice. He gets swarmed by a pack of Raiders. Raiders now with the ball. Ale Aparicio working out of the shotgun. The junior QB gathers and floats it up for Jaden Fuentes, who hauls it in. Nice touchdown catch with a defender on top of him. North takes a 7-0 lead. Row having all kinds of trouble on offense. They throw it to Mikey Gonzalez from north. Number six heading the other way. No one in his way to the house. He goes for the pick, a six. And Gonzalez sporting a beautiful mullet. You like to see that right there. North up 14-0. Ethan Guerra toting the ball, breaking away from the pack. Another Raider touchdown, 21-0 north for Coach Mark Kaufman's boys right there. The coaching staff giving the O-line some props. North knocking on the door again. They hand it off to Jason Montes. He rumbles in for the score. North up 28-0. The band loving it. Raiders inside the red zone. Aparicio pulls it back and fires to Diego Aparicio. Touchdown Raiders. North up 35-0 at half. Raiders up big 63-7 at last check in the second half. Let's stay in district to 15-5A Division 1. It's Avella on the road. Sabercats going to McAllen to take on Mackay. The Cats coming off a 70-point outing against the Rio Grande City. McCallum's offense getting going as of late as well. The Bulldogs putting up 50 points in the past two weeks. Could the Bulldogs pull off an upset at home? Let's head straight into the highlights right here. Vela on a revenge tour as of late to show who's the best team in the Valley. First drive for the Sabercats. Bobby Garcia out of the gun. He slings it downfield to Justin Navarro. Navarro wide open. He turns around and jogs right into the end zone as Vela strikes first. After a great punt return, Sabercats knocking on the door once again. This time it's Dimas De Leon. He punches it in for six. 14-0 Vela early. And we're going to stick in the first quarter. A quick pass from Garcia. Navarro dancing on the sidelines. He makes the defender miss right there. Another Sabercat TD. It's now 21 nada in the first. <laughs> the Bulldogs looking for some life. And receiver Brian Alaniz with an acrobatic catch there on the sideline. First down, Bulldogs. But after forcing a turnover on downs, Vela back to work. Garcia taking advantage of the offsides penalty. He hits Jackson, Shoop, and Stride. And Shoop is off to the races. Touchdown, Vela once again. And they aren't done just yet. Another offsides penalty. Sabercats taking all the advantage, going deep. Go up and get it, Mr. Navarro. His third touchdown of the first half. Vela all over McCallum in this one, 52 to seven in the fourth. Let's head over to Mission now. Pioneer hosting Roma. The Diamondbacks coming off a convincing win over Mission Veterans. Roma looking to pick up their first district win. The Gladiators coming up just short at home against Sherryland last week. Pioneer hosting Roma this evening. We got no score until QB Julian Valdez keeps it himself, punches it in for the Diamondbacks. Pioneer on the board first in this one. Roma does respond, though, later in the quarters. Isaac Lozano takes it up the middle. He's going to beat them. He turns on the Jets. Touchdown, Gladiators. But the Diamondbacks going to strike back once again. Joseph Graham later in the quarter here. Hauls it in after with defenders just draped all over him from the pass. Touchdown, a pioneer as it's a tie ball game at last check now. 28 to 28 in the fourth quarter. Now to some 4A ball down at Ravenville. The Bearcats hosting Port Isabel. Ravenville relying on its strong defense on this year. The Tarpons, on the other hand, known for their ground and pound offense. Tonight's matchup, the district opener for both teams, Ravenville. Looking to snap, it's two game skid. To Raymondville we go. Cats with a mega Sam's Club inflatable right Ooh. there. Port Isabel 
the traditional huddle. Cats go into the shovel pass, but the Tarpons come up with a huge hit. The ball is loose, and P.I. recovers. Later on, Tarpons going for it on fourth down. The Raymondville defense coming up huge. A big-time stop inside the five. The Cats corralling the Tarpons on the field and on the sideline right there. Raymondville now on offense. The Cats QB rolling to his left and looking downfield. He slings it, but it lands in Anthony Garcia's hands of the P.I. defender coming up with the INT. Later in the game, Bearcats knocking on the door. Hunter Bossas barreling his way into the end zone for the touchdown. And back at the other end, Port Isabel near the end zone right there. And Luis Ramos navigates his way in. Raymond Vidalgo comes out victorious. The Bearcats win 20 to 17. And coming up, we see the players on the field. But after the break, we'll see La Villa head coach Danny Perez in action. That's coming up on this week's Mike Duck. And stick around because we've got the highlights for Westlaco East and Donna coming up right after the break. And welcome back to Cover 4 on CBS 4. We've seen the players do their thing. Now let's see the coaches and see how they get ready on game day. This week we're tagging along with La Via head coach Danny Perez for another edition of Mike Up. Coach Perez, take it away. There we go, there we go, there we go. There we go. They're going to come to you, man. You better step up into that big gap. You gotta step up low. All right, gentlemen. We already know how big this game is. All right, second district game. All right. Be ready. Every play. Everybody got it. You gotta stay with your brush to the whistle blow. Every play. Good luck today, gentlemen. Time to go. Time to go. Time to go. You better be ready to go out there and go to war, man. 
Pass it up, pass it up, right there, straight down the line. Go, 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 go! Go, 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 go! Quick, do it, let's go! Keep your head down! Fumble, fumble, fumble! Ah! Oh, ho, ho! Watch it, watch it! Go, go! Go, go, go! In the back was that way. In the back, the back was that way. Last four games, yeah. they went that way. Just... Go, go, go! How you go? How you go? How you go, Joel? Way to get that head down, baby! Way to get that head down, baby! And Coach Perez bringing the energy. Love to see that. His Cardinals victorious yesterday against Ben Bolt. You were out there. What would you think of uh, Coach's fired-up attitude? Intensity. That's his number <laughs> one thing, I think, right there. But it was awesome to be out there. A great win for him last night, too. Uh, really enjoyed doing it. Right on. Let's move on back to more Friday night action. Donna at home taking on Wessico East. The Redskins coming off a bye. Looking to erase the loss on the road that they had a couple weeks back against the Brownsville Vets. Meanwhile, Westlaco East looking to continue its momentum after their win over Brownsville Vets. To Benny LeBron Stadium we go. The Redskins rocking and rolling. Fellas flying out of the teepee, but it would be East that scored first. A Donna Muff punt set up the Cats in great field position. The rushing touchdown there makes it 6 0 East. Donna on the move now. Redskins hand it off to Matthew Lopez. Tough yards up the gut, solid gain to move the chains. Later in the drive, Jake Garcia in at QB. The senior looking to break the plane. He muscles his way in. PAT is good. Redskins take a 7-6 lead. Let's go to the second quarter. Redskins are driving and going to the ground game. Once again, Lopez breaks the tackle, stays on his feet, and finally gets taken down. At the East, a 25, Lopez, a star linebacker, showing he can also carry the ball, dancing around in the backfield and picking up enough yards for another Donna first down. Now it's time to give the ball back to Jake Garcia. Runs to his left and finds the end zone. Donna would take a 14-12 lead at half, but East up 15-14 in the second half. 